Hi, my name is Stefan Niedermann. I am the maintainer of the Nextcloud Notes and DAC Android apps. Today I want to talk about how everything started and how it goes and where it will go in the future. Me and my buddy Arthur are Nextcloud users in the very beginning and we would love to see how the platform and the apps are evolving. We wanted to give something back and extend the ecosystem further. But how to start? Thanks to the Notes Android client, I already had some experience, so here's my personal cooking receipt for extending the existing ecosystem to another platform. First of all, pick your favorite Nextcloud app. Second, check the prerequisites, create a new issue, ask for ideas, help and documentation. Then create a new Git repository and invite people who are interested in contributing. Make a draft of what you plan to do, maybe a few sketches so people know where the journey is going. If your platform is Android, that's very important, use the single sign-on mechanism and join the lightning talk of David for the reasons. Last not least, release early, release often. It's important to show progress and get feedback from the community. Don't be afraid of breaking something. Our first release on Android has been published back in May 2019. We consider the app as useful and stable enough for a Play Store release in February 2020. After we had many, many iterations with feedback, bug reports and suggestions from the community. 65 releases later, our current version has around about 2000 Play Store downloads. The last recent features are the great list widget by the community contributor Daniel, support for projects, a great redesign based on the Files app, the ability to move cards to other boards and accounts, and clone boards as well as a compact mode. One of the most important lessons learned is to always stay in touch with your API provider. Share and discuss your needs and enhancements. A current example is support for so-called e-tags, which will allow us to greatly enhance the synchronization performance in the future. At GitHub, the Nextcloud forums, and of course in the ratings of the Play Store. We are always in touch with the community. We are happy to provide support when something goes wrong. Of course, never does. But this is not always easy, because we cannot help if you just throw in a rant and never respond to our questions. We need detailed information to fix an error. We need to be able to reproduce it. So please, fill out the complete issue template when you report a bug. It is there for a reason. One of our prime goal is feature parity with the server app. Short-term goals can be seen in our open GitHub issue tracker and long-term goals are enhanced supports for attachment, providing a great new widget and a deeper integration in the Android ecosystem. Since we have limited resources and a private life too, we can and will not make detailed promises for the mid and long term which we might not be able to fulfill. But hey, this is an open source project. We work on it in our free time to expand and enhance the Nextcloud ecosystem. You want to contribute to the ecosystem too? You want to learn coding? You just want to get in touch with a few people? Join the team. We always need help with translations, coding, testing and so on. Thank you for watching.